Hello everybody and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing off some of the new video game assets that I got off the Unity Asset Store's Spring Sale. There are a couple reasons that I wanted to make this video. The first being is to remind you about the Unity Asset Store Spring Sale because it's only going to be going on for just a couple more days. Um, it's actually going to end tomorrow, the day after this posts, on April 29th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time. And in the sale, they have over 500 of the most popular assets from the Unity Asset Store. So you can find some really good discounts. And make sure you watch to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you how you can earn an additional 10% off your full purchase off the Unity Asset Store. If you do want to go check out the sale for yourself, be sure to use the links down in the description below. Also, the other reason that I wanted to make this video was to basically show off some of the more overlooked aspects of game development. I know me as someone who focuses a whole lot on programming, I definitely overlook a bunch of things in game development and game design. And so I think the assets that I bought today really just address some of those blind spots and will allow me to make much better games overall. And I will be linking off to all these assets down in the description below. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, those are Unity affiliate links. So basically, if you click on any of those links, and you do end up making a purchase off anything on the Unity Asset Store, I do receive a small portion of that. So it is a pretty cool way for you to get some awesome new assets as well as support me as a creator. And I'd also just like to mention that I'm currently working on building up my Discord community, really just trying to get a whole bunch of game developers of different types in there where we can talk about the challenges of game development or running a game development studio or just staying you know, focused and motivated over long-term projects. So be sure to go check out the Discord community if you're interested, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. And one other reason I wanted to make this video was because I'm basically just using like a blank project here and I thought this would be a pretty good idea to basically just have like a blank project available for me um, to throw all these assets that I get from the asset store in just all these big massive asset packs so that if I do have something that I want to put into my game I can come into this more generic project and sift through all these assets and find the you know few select ones that I'm looking for so I don't have to import this like massive library of things into my main Unity project. Now then, let's actually dig into some of these assets here. So the one that's been playing in the background here, this is known as the Epic Tune Effects. And I really like this because it's just kind of like a, a good cartoony style. And um, you can see that they have, you know, all kinds of these um, just simple little effects. There's like a lot of particle effects in here. They also have uh, some things like emojis. Um, just kind of a bunch of like cartoony, just nice simple effects that you can add to your game. And I think having things like this are extremely valuable because it just kind of adds a whole lot more feel to your game. So for example, here's kind of like a bunch of little strike things. So if you had these kind of play as, you know, a sword animation kind of hits an opponent and you have this like little like spark thing flash, it makes the player feel a lot more powerful, even just adding this simple little graphic in here. And I think another one of the major benefits of this pack is it really helps you with doing things like signposting. So for example, here's kind of just this like typing message. And let's say you have this kind of display over a character in your game world. It's pretty clear that that character like wants to talk to you. So it's going to, you know, lead the player to go up and talk to them and kind of see what they're, you know, want to say to the player. And that's a much better approach to do something like this, have a little kind of text bubble display as opposed to, you know, actually having like maybe some dialogue pop up on the screen like, oh, Jimmy wants to talk to you. Let's go see what Jimmy has to say. That kind of thing just feels a little awkward and definitely breaks the immersion for the player. So if you have something like that little text bubble or even something like an emoji where you can kind of like show off emotion a little bit without having to like make a whole new animation or facial expression, just kind of adding in some simple effects like this just kind of gets across the point what is going on in the game world without directly telling the player. And it also comes with this really cool test scene where you can kind of like test and shoot out um, different of these effects here. Let me see if I can find some cool ones. But yeah, you know, there's like they have lasers or different bullets. And of course, this is just like a starting point for you. You can kind of use this as basically a base and kind of tune it to how exactly you like. Maybe you want to change the color on it or add your own kind of effects to make it fit your game a little bit better. But I think this is like a really good starting point and, and I just learned that you can turn up the speed on this. So this is kind of cool. You can have it just go like crazy rapid fire with this. Um, so I'm really, I'm really a fan of this pack. There's a whole bunch of things in it. I think there's over like 900 assets or something ridiculous. So I could talk about that one all day. 
Next one that I'm gonna talk about is this simple UI pack that I got. And I'm not crazy about this one. I do like it and it was pretty cheap, so I'm not really complaining that I got it or anything. Um, but I just wanted something that you could get some nice, good, clean UI with. And with this, the UI looks pretty good. It's a, it's a little cartoony and kind of mobile-esque, which is fine. It's kind of um, what it was built for, basically. But the reason that I really got it was for all these icons. I think having little icons like this are um, again really important to your game and you can use something like these icons rather than directly telling the player things and you know there's definitely a bunch of use cases for little icons like these and as i'm going and prototyping things or doing whatever it could be nice to have just kind of like this library of icons that i can go to um, and just grab something quick and throw it in there and then you know maybe later down the road i can improve that and make it look a little bit better but i think this is just um, a, a good little icon pack to have. Now, if you do want some really good and professional looking UI, there is a pack out there that is on sale right now called the Ultimate Clean GUI Pack. And I think it looks really cool. Um, it was a little bit more money than I wanted to spend right now. But I think that if you're looking for a really good UI solution, that might be something worth looking into. All right, now the next asset bundle that I got is this interface and item sounds. And so this pack contains like a bunch of little interface sounds. So you see you have kind of like this buzz error here. Right, and there's a couple different varieties of it. And I think this is also really important because you pretty much want everything in your game that your player's interacting with to have a sound associated with it. And the reason for that is to have good player feedback. So if the player you know, puts in some input and they were not supposed to do it, maybe you kind of give them a little buzz error, something like that. Or if they do put in input and it was something that they could do, maybe you could give them a positive sound like something like that. But you basically never want to find yourself in a situation where if a player does something in your game, you don't want them to feel like, oh, was I supposed to be able to do that? And if you have like a little sound effect for everything in your game, then it's really just gonna clear up some of that confusion that the player might have. You know, even if you have a little graphic play or something like that, you always wanna have a sound associated with it too. So I think this is just a pretty good starter pack for a sound pack. Um, I don't I don't really have like a good sound bank of just simple sounds like this. So it's good to start building that up. So I mean, I just wanted this for simple things. Like if I'm scrolling through a list, just kind of have it go click, 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 click. And there's a bunch of little sounds like that in here that I can use for that. All right, and then the final pack that I purchased is of course the legendary Odin Inspector, which I'm super excited was on sale because this is something that I was thinking about purchasing anyway at his full price because it is just so good and there's no way in this short little video that I can do it any kind of justice um, but this is like an example little project that it comes with where it, it's basically just creating kind of custom inspector windows like this so this is basically you can think of this as kind of like a little RPG editor so you have um, you know your different players in the RPG and this shows like they're starting inventory and you can kind of like move things around like this to how you want. And there's like different little tabs that you can have for like starting stats and you can kind of adjust how good all their stats are. And this just makes it like really easy for, you know, you as a programmer or if you're working on a team with like some level designers, they can kind of come in here and adjust these sliders super easily. And this is just really gonna improve your iteration time from saying like, oh, this kind of feels not really right. Like, let me, let me kind of go in and tweak some of these values and like, okay, let's see how that feels now and we can kind of test that out and like, okay, maybe we maybe we draw that back a little bit or whatever. Now, if you're not familiar with the Odin Inspector, I would highly recommend um, at least just clicking the link down in the description to go to the store page and check out some of the videos they have on there where they show off some of the main features of this Odin Inspector. I used it very briefly in the game jam that I did the other weekend and I was really happy with um, what it was able to allow me to do. All right, so those are the assets that I bought off the Unity Asset Store sale. Again, you can go check it out. They have a ton of things available all for 50% off and they even have daily deals where a certain asset is available for 70% off. So be sure to check those out. Now I did mention that there was a way that you can get an extra 10% off your purchase. So if you just use this code that I have right here, which is SSAFF2020, you can get an additional 10% off your entire purchase. So anyways, that's all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more cool things related to the Unity game engine. 
course, if you have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. And don't forget to join our Discord community. I'll have a link to that in the description as well. But I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.